show you how to add a modal pop-up to uh, your application. So in this case, we have this button here. When I click on it, nothing happens. When I click on all these buttons, nothing happens, as you can see right here. So basically, th there are a number of things you need to do, and I'm going to be covering it at this point. Now, if I go back to step uh, part one, if you have a new Angular application, you need to install these four items right here, which is uh, let me see if I can increase the uh, font. Bootstrap, font awesome, Angular Material, and ng bootstrap. Take note that to add ng bootstrap, you need to use ng add. That makes it a lot easier. All right, so let's proceed to where we are. Uh, I think we should be on oh, no, 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 so step three. All right, good. So step three says uh, first we have a REST endpoint. Give me one second. Let me just make sure. Okay, all right, so this is where we are. So the first thing we want to do is to add a modal uh, so that when we click, let's go back to this page, when we click on new frame, we want a modal to display, all right? And a number of things you need to do. First, we need to add on, the, on, the, um, on this button right here, there's a button that handles the, the, uh, the this is a button that handles it new. So I'm going to say class, uh, sorry, it's going to be click. Uh, click is equal to open and open content. Now, what is content? Content is a model that you want to open. That model, we actually not added it and we are going to add it right now. But first, the first thing you need to add this uh, a click event to this button. The next thing you want to do is to add a number of other things. We need to add forms module. We also need to add ngb module to our app routing.ts, app module.ts file. All right. Because all the tools that you normally use in Angular, you need to provide them by importing them into the app module.ts file. So here, go to the import section and we need to add a number of things. We need to add uh, uh, forms module, forms module is the first one. And we also need to add NGB module, NGB module, I think I added it, which is this one. So you need to add these two things. Now in your friends component, which is this uh, TS file, the friends component.ts file, we need to add ngb we need to import ngb model as well and ngb mo, uh, and model dismiss reasons okay the reason is because we need ngb model to display a model pop-up and also we need dismiss reasons to handle what actually caused the closing of this form sometimes you can close a form when a user saves an item you can also close a form when a user clicks on the cancel button or clicks on the x mark x close mark on the top of the of the form I don't know if I've mentioned, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my, to my channel. And also you have the step-by-step -step page here on my website. You can also find, you can always find all the types of this tutorial. All right, so we need to import a number of things. So I'm going to say import. Uh, we need um, modal dismiss reasons. And we also need uh, NGB model. These two items, you need to import them. Okay, so where are we? So we've added these two, we've done this. The next thing we want to do is to add ngb model variable as parameter to the constructor in addition to the HTTP client. So if you go to this place, you see the constructor for this class has a HTTP client member variable. So we are also going to add a model service. So model service is what is going to, we are going to actually use to display modal pop-ups for this application. Add an attribute close result as a string to the friend component class as well. Uh, so in this case, let me see, add an attribute. Sorry, let's give me one second. This is gonna be private. Okay, so if you don't add private, sometimes you have problems. Add an attribute close result as a string to the friends component class. Um, so this friend component class, I'm gonna add an attribute close 
results. So this closed result holds the, the reason why the form was closed. So it's going to be a string. Okay, fine. Um, put a semicolon and not a comma. All right, so now we need to display the model pop-up. When we add the HTML template for the model, all this very easy. We just go to the ND Bootstrap site and copy the code for model. So let me just show you uh, ND Bootstrap site so that you can always uh, check. Sorry, okay. I, I actually want this thing to open in a new window. So I'm going to right click and say open in a, new, in a new tab. So here you can see a number of model items. You can see these, you can also see these. So all of, the, all of them are quite easy. So you can always take any of them so in my case i'm taking this one because i already fixed i already have it on my website so i'm going to take this one and then i'm going to copy it and simply paste it uh at the lower part after the last div tag okay so for now we have only first name and we are going to add more as we move then you also need the typescript code as well now, when the user clicks on the, you see model dismiss, okay, this is a, is a function that has to run, okay, that's fine. We also have this open, open should also be a function that has to run. So if I go to this place, you can see open is a function that's gonna run when uh, the user clicks on the new button, okay, it's gonna open the model and uh, it's going to call model service that open open the form the content remember the content is simply the name of the model right here as you can see hash content all right and the next thing we are going to do is to also put this function model dismiss reason in this in this case we have this model dismiss right here to manage it and we also have close here okay so all this is model dismissed and inside this form we have inside this model we have a form and inside the form we have a form group that displays only the first name all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to copy these two items these two functions these two functions right here and get into my uh, ts file into my TS file right here. I'm gonna just go down. I think I find a place to paste it. It should be, just give me one second. Okay, perfect. So it should be somewhere here. So the two functions are pasted right now. So what it means is when you click on the open, it's going to execute the, the model service that open and then display the model form okay when you also click it uh, dismiss or close or the x button is going to run this function like it's going to find the dismiss reason or whether I escape key and so on and then it's going to dismiss the model uh, form so i'm going to save everything by command s on my keyboard and i'm going to go back here and if I click on this new frame, you can see we have a new model form displayed here. Now, we are not done yet because remember, we need to uh, submit this form. So we need a submit because we can change this to submit. So what I want to give you now as an assignment is to uh, change or to add more uh, input fields on this button. So if you go back here, uh, we have create all the form controls okay so that i'm giving you as an assignment i have not done them i think i added maybe two or there about but now i want you to do it so that in the nice part we are now going to be talking about handling form submission so i'm going to be stopping here i'd like you to do this assignment as soon as possible i remain kind on the tech pro if you have any challenges following these lessons please let me know in the comment box below and also feel free to I use the code in the website because everything is right here on the website, free for you to use. It's uh, very easy broken down. If you're a beginner, you can always find it very, very easy. So I'm going to stop here and please like and share my video and we see in the next part.